Hey there YouTube! Today I've decided to make a video about my goals for 2017 and how I've decided to keep track of them. So this is my new bullet journal. I have decided to finally make one. I have seen plenty of people making them, but I've never really been a huge journaler. But I figure for the new year I might as well try and see if I can keep track of it. So inside this journal, I have all of my goals written out. I haven't gotten very far. January starts tomorrow, so it's not something that is completely filled out, but I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like, and I will go over my goals with you. So if you look at this, you'll see that it's just a regular notebook. I got it at Target. I think it was just a few dollars. Um, it says that it's made from soy ink and it's green inspired whether or not that means that it's actually recycled I don't think it does uh, because it doesn't it doesn't really have the feel of recycled paper and I think a lot of companies are trying to be green without actually be green, being green and so um, I don't think this, this is necessarily the most sustainable notebook that I own but I do plan on keeping it all year long I do plan on using it and so it was something that I felt was a worth it purchase for me instead of having to put together my own notebook because that is very time consuming and I wanted to make sure that I did complete the goal of having a journal by the beginning of the year so inside there is um, the first page and it just says my journey through 2017 and uh, it has my name and then my age of that I will be during the year. So I'm currently 27 years old. I will be turning 28 in June. I wanted to write that down just so that I knew where I was kind of at at this time in my life. On the next page I have listed out all of my goals and I will show you a closer up version of my goals and I'm going to go over them with you. So I have personal goals and then I also have health goals and uh, there is a number one goal which actually I kind of put down there because for some reason I forgot to put down my number one goal. It doesn't make any sense. I completely forgot to write it when I was writing out my list and so I just put it at the end and made it look like it was more special but really it was just a mistake of how I wrote it. But um, so my first personal goal is to stop biting my nails and I have bitten my nails ever since I can remember. I remember at my first house which I moved out of when I was I think I was only five years old. I was biting my nails back then because I remember my mom saying that we were going to try to stop biting our nails together but it never happened. I always try, I make it a few months and then I always do it again. It's a dirty habit, um, so many germs, I touch everything, I go to school and I touch the computers at school, I touch the doorknobs and then I'm biting my nails during class and so that's something that I'd really like to try to stop. So what I am doing to try to stop that is painting my nails and I don't like the maintenance of having to keep my nails painted. I am a very low maintenance person. I wear mascara maybe once a month. Um, I'm wearing it right now just because it's the weekend. It's New Year's Eve and so I figure I'm probably going to go out in a little bit. But it's not something that I typically do. So keeping track of painting my nails is really difficult but I do notice that when I have nicely painted nails I don't bite as much and so I'm going to try to use that as a tool to stop myself from biting so often. My second goal is to be a more conscious consumer. And so what I mean by that is to purchase fewer items and also make those items that I do purchase a good purchase. So I try to buy locally with possible, like my soaps. If I'm not making my own, I will be buying them from local um, retailers. I we In the town that I live in, we have quite a uh, quite an abundance of locally made th items and so it's pretty easy to get my hands on items that have been made by someone who lives in my own town and items that are not sold in other places. I'd also really like to try to spend all of my Sundays outside. I live in a beautiful area. I live amongst the Redwood Forest and I also live on the beach. It's kind of a crazy place. Um, the forest actually butts up against the beach which is the most magnificent place I have ever found myself in and so I go to school and I spend so much time inside my classroom that I want to spend as much time as I can outdoors and so by making Sunday my outdoors day I think that it will really help me get to see the area before I decide to move on with my life and maybe move out of this area or you know see what goes on I want to get as much in in this area as I possibly can. My next goal is to be a better partner and 
this is not something that I necessarily need well I don't think that I need a huge amount of work on but I am in a relationship and I would like to be fully as well as good as I can I guess um, for him so my goal is to listen better because um, I tend to get so focused on my schoolwork or what I'm doing at the time that sometimes he'll be talking and I'm just not really listening to how his day went um, so that is something that I definitely want to work on is just to be better in the listening I guess department for him so that he can feel fulfilled in the aspect of our relationship and procrastination. I want to procrastinate less. I am awesome at procrastinating, especially when it comes to my schoolwork. I am professional at being up the night before a paper is due, finishing it, and turning it in without even looking over it. And so far it has worked for me, and I only have one semester left, so it really has worked, but I, it's something that I don't really want to take pride in. I would like to do my best at making sure things are done ahead of time. That way I don't have to worry, but you know, the night before it's due about making, you know, scrambling to get something done. Travel somewhere new. So this is a goal that I have made many years ago when I first decided that traveling was something I wanted to do. I originally made the goal to travel to a new country every year and it was something that I definitely took to heart and I definitely completed. I have been to two handfuls of countries. Um, I'd have to actually sit down and count how many I've been to. I've been to Australia, New Zealand, Ecuador, uh, Barbados, you know, I've been to many different places, but I want to not limit myself to only being other countries because I've realized that there are so many places in the United States that I have not traveled yet, and so I really want to make sure that I go somewhere new. That can be local, that can be distant. So this year, I am actually going to be taking a trip to Alaska, which is a place that I have never been, and I'm really excited about that. And then I'm also going back to Ecuador, which is a place that I've already been, but I want to spend more time there, and I'm actually doing some work down there. So um, it's not a new place, but I will definitely be taking that into consideration as one of my travel areas but that's why I'm doing Alaska because I needed to make sure that I also went somewhere new and Ecuador is not new to me. So I want to journal weekly and this is something that I have always wanted to do but I'm not good at. I start journals and I never actually stick with it. I think three months in, sometimes less, sometimes more is what I make it but then after that I'm pretty much done. So last year I started a journal. I think I made it till I want to say May and then I stopped. So I really want to be more consistent with journaling which is why I made this bullet journal and I am going to try my best to do it at least once a week. That way I can fill it in and keep up with the track of you know each month how I'm re how I'm meeting my goals and things like that. Learn Spanish. So I don't speak Spanish. Like I said earlier, I have been to Ecuador. I went last year and I'm going again in two months, but I don't speak Spanish. I know basic, you know, basic phrases like I know how to say that I don't eat fish because that's something that I don't eat and so I need to know how to tell people not to feed it to me. I know how to ask how, some, how much something costs. I can say thank you, good night, you know, basic phrases. But I really want to learn how to speak conversational Spanish and that's something that I have used the excuse of school so that I haven't actually completed my Spanish skills but I I'm going to be graduating soon so I think that I can use this time to really learn Spanish, dive into it that way. Next time when I do go to a Spanish speaking country I can handle all of the conversations myself and I don't always have to rely on someone who can help me translate when I need it. So those are most of my goals for my personal but next we are going to go over my health goals. I take swim class at school and I did it last spring semester. I had never swam before. It was my first time. I, I knew how to swim but I didn't know how to properly swim strokes. I just knew swimming from, you know, swimming in the beach or swimming at a pool. And so I really want to progress my swimming skills. I didn't swim during fall semester but I am going to be swimming again this spring semester on campus and I will be 
forcing myself to be able to swim 500 meters without taking a rest and doing that freestyle. I find that freestyle is one of the harder strokes for me to continue. It's probably the first stroke that people learn it's one of the easiest but for me I swam as a child kind of doing like a frog stroke which is more like a breast stroke and so I really want to get better at my freestyle. I could swim days breast stroke. I can swim days side stroke. I cannot swim freestyle without taking a break and I think part of the reason is my endurance just isn't quite there. You're kicking your legs so much and moving your arms so much that it's something that I just I wear myself out. So swimming freestyle a specific distance is really something that I want to accomplish this year. I am planning to not eat out more than two times a week. This is something that I try but I fail at all the time. But this year I definitely want to make it more permanent. I have been so busy with school that I find myself eating on campus which I consider eating out and it has made me gain quite a bit of my weight this last year. It was my first year up at this new university and it's really taken a toll on my health and my body and so this year I am going to try to do my absolute best to cut out that bad habit and eat more at home. I don't eat fast food. I haven't had fast food since 2010 um, but eating out on campus just the the cafeteria it's not necessarily what I consider fast food because it doesn't have a drive-through but it is terrible for you and so that is something that I want to change in my life is I want to bring my lunches to campus I also want to work out a minimum of four days per week so with my swim schedule that's already two days checked off the list right there but I want to add an additional two days of cardio type workouts and I have a local gym pass so I can do it there and that's something that I really want to work on. I want to get in better shape basically. I want to have better health. It's not necessarily that I am so concerned with how I look. It's more that I'm concerned with how I feel and right now I just feel lazy and so I really want to do my best to work out more and get my energy back up and I think that by giving myself a specific number of days minimum that I need to work out that that will really help me to achieve that health. So I don't drink enough water. When I lived in Southern California, I drank a ton of water because the water was good. Most people think Los Angeles water is pretty disgusting, but honestly, I really liked it. And everybody had a water filter at their house, and so I think that was the biggest reason. So it was really easy for me to drink good water and drink a lot of water. However, up here in Northern California, all of these houses are extremely old that we live in. The piping is gross. The water on campus is gross. All of the water is disgusting. And so I don't drink as much water as I would like to. And so I'm really going to push myself to drink 64 ounces a day for my health reasons. If I'm going to be working out more, I definitely need to drink a lot of water and just to help with my hydration. And ultimately, it'll probably help my skin too because I'll be having more water inside of me. So I have a filter. It's a compostable filter. It's made out of I want to say coconut fibers or bamboo fiber. I'll have to check to see which type of fiber it's made out of. And um, I am planning on using that more and making sure that I really fulfill my water intake. Another goal that I have is to become a yogi. So I love yoga, but my flexibility has greatly decreased since I haven't been actively participating in yoga. And so I have a goal to do a lot more yoga. I'm going to try to do some of those 30 day challenges that are on YouTube. I am going to maybe meet up with some friends who are already do yoga and see if they would like to practice with me. But yoga is something that I really want to get better at and that is a definite goal of mine for 2017. And my ultimate goal for 2017 is to choose zero waste. So I recognize that, that there is some ideas about whether zero waste is actually possible or not and I will make a completely separate video on what zero waste is, if I feel it's even achievable, but I just use that phrase zero waste as a lifestyle, not necessarily a practicality of what's actually possible. So I, in all cases, want to choose zero waste as much as possible, whether this be bring my own grocery bags, which in California you have to now. Um, it is using no plastic straws, which is something that I've stopped for a while, and in my zero waste video I will include why I don't use plastic straws. Um, things like buying from the bulk 
counter instead of buying individual packaged flour or sugar or rice, things like that. Things that come in packages, I want to try to avoid as much as I can just to help with my household trash that I'm actually putting into the dump. I recognize that there is still trash at the grocery store being formed with those bulk items, but it is something that I personally want to try to reduce how much trash I myself am taking from my house in my kitchen trash and walking it out to the dumpster. It's something that I want to cut back and that is my number one goal for 2017. So thank you for listening to my goals for 2017 and taking a quick glimpse into my bullet journal that I will be starting. I have many more videos to come and if you liked this one and you are looking forward to more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and I will make sure to keep an eye out for you and if you have any suggestions, let me know.